a lot of options. You could you could join the Christians or the junkies or the golfers. And, uh, <laughs> I had kind of a hook in my swing. Did. So I, I joined the, 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 the drug heads for a while and I realized that I would be dead before too long because I have like uh, no impulse control. <laughs> then I joined the Christians and your impulse control there isn't really necessary because no matter how hard you try, God won't get you stoned. <laughs> he gets you all like worked up and anxious and jittery, but you don't get stoned. So at a certain point I had to run away. Ran away to California. And uh, this kind of describes that period of my life. It's on this new album that I have coming out. It's called Transnormal Skipperoo. This song is called Jailbird. I used to be, when I was young, I was so hungry for oblivion. My thoughts would linger like fingers in a deadly wing. But in time the sorrow showed its face And kinda learned to ache for grace To work and pray to one day be Delivered whole life and free Many people surrender to God and many people surrender to some romantic partner and I tried both of those things and it, uh, it left me um, pretty much uh, just an empty husk of a human being um, so you have to surrender, but you have to choose what you surrender to carefully. Um, otherwise, you will spend your life surrendering to things that will only devour you. I want to be a jailbird From the prison of my own damn mind Won't get me a fast car Set out and see what I can find Break up the well of tears and disappear Leave myself behind, won't be a jailbird From the prison of my own damn mind We start as a baby, forming in our mama's bellies as just this free-floating thing. We're unified with everything. We don't really think, I'm here, I'm hungry. We're just happy to be. We're not even happy, we're just there. And as we grow older and older and older, we become less there and we become more, you know, concerned with where am I and who am I and what am I. That's what the song uh, on this album, Counting Numbers in the Air, is about. It's about how as we grow older, we lose touch with the unity inside of ourselves. And the question at the end of the song is, when we die, will we be reunited with that unity or will it Will we just disappear and there will be no resolution to this hunger inside of us? That's how they found him. He was howling at the moon. I will always view the South through sort of uh, mythological lenses because uh, I was brought there as a child and I didn't understand where I'd been taken. I, I was, at five years old, I was living in the epicenter of pop culture in America. I lived in uh, Southern California in 1962 when the Beach Boys uh, and Jan and Dean held the world in the palm of their hands and uh, I was taken to uh, a place where they had Italian spaghetti at one restaurant in, in, in the town and that was like a big event to go there and get Italian spaghetti. There was a string of white flowers draped around his collar And when he saw the men were coming for him he began to holler South. Uh, I love uh, the dialect and I love the history and the culture and I find it interesting. I don't think it's all right, uh, but I think it's all interesting. Um, so when I report on it, it is, it is certainly stilted, certainly tainted by my own search for, for my identity within 
a context of uh, the, like the relationship between me and, and that world I was dragged to. I was dragged kicking and screaming. <laughs> I didn't want to go there. He cried, take me away, take me away. But the men could not be sure if he was talking to them or talking to the oncoming train. It feels like home to me, but it's not. Uh, the people there still look at me as, as sort of an odd person, and, and certainly not of them. I'm not of them, but it's easier now. When I first moved back after driving a cab in New York City, I had New York City reflexes and New York City inflections in my accent, and, and uh, they were terrified of me. You have to look at your personal history and say, what, what are what are the balls I've been given to juggle here, you know? If you've been given f four shiny silver balls, your juggling's going to be a lot easier than in your, if you've been given a chainsaw, croquet mallet, a bowling ball, and a you know, rotten tomato. You know, your life's going to be harder. I think I've been given somewhat the latter. I don't think I've been given a completely hard set of things to juggle because I'm sitting here talking to you about it. And at night when she hear him howling, when she cry out to Jesus, for years she begged the sweet redeemer to heal her crazy son. Until finally she just gave up on miracles and called the men to come.